everyone! Welcome to Keto and Crime. Today I have got a follow-up on Lori Vallow Dayville. I know I was supposed to do a live stream, but uh, we've had a lot of projects around here. Uh, we've planted our garden and been helping my mother-in-law with that and just a lot of stuff. We had to, She wanted to get the pool open, so in addition, it's just been really hectic at my day jobs too, so I've just been exhausted. So that's the reason that I probably won't be doing a live stream uh, about that and I apologize but I did want to get a, a video out to you because there has been some more news in the Vallow case and I'm gonna say Vallow so that we keep her separate from Daybell even though I know they're still legally married but uh, anyway uh, so we do know that her sentencing date has been set it was originally gonna be two months and following along she is uh, scheduled to be sentenced July 31st which I believe was Harry Potter's birthday, a friend of mine uh, uh, pointed out. So I think uh, it's going to be a magical day for everyone. Now, what is she facing? Well, pretty simply, for the the fraud, the theft, the financial fraud, that is a range of 1 to 14 years. For the conspiracy to murder and the murder convictions, minimum of 10 years all the way up to life in prison with or without possibility of parole now um let's let's look at this lori is around 50 years old she might be 49 but she's right around 50 so she's around my age i'm 48 she's right around my age so let's look at it even if for some reason the judge decides to give her the minimum on each one of those She's going to have 40 years for each of the other four counts and one year for the uh, financial crimes. That's 41 years. She ain't getting out of jail. You know, she's going to die in prison. So no matter what, no matter what, she's going to be serving the rest of her natural life in prison. And that is something we can celebrate. I don't think they're going to give her the minimum due to the horrific nature of the crimes. I mean, we know JJ was asphyxiated. Tammy was asphyxiated. I can only imagine how horrible it is to die that way. And probably Ty Lee was probably beaten and asphyxiated due to the condition of her body. So, and then the fact there was all this buildup and conspiracy and just out and out lying. I can't imagine that he would ever give her the minimum, even though the outcomes will be the same. I suspect She's going to get 14 years in prison for the financial theft and four life sentences for the other charges. Now, whether they'll be served consecutively or concurrently remains to be seen, although it's all the same. You know, consecutively means one life sentence, one life sentence, one life sentence. You only got one life to live. So, And then concurrently would be all four of them are grouped together as one big life sentence. But again, even if she receives the minimum, or life, the literal, real-life outcome is going to be the same. So I think we can all rest assured there. But I'm pretty sure to show how much the state of Idaho detests these crimes and wants to make sure everybody knows that hopefully they want to protect children from this foolishness, she's probably going to get four life sentences without the possibility of parole plus 14 years. I would imagine that is going to be the sentence. Could be wrong, but put $20 on it, I'm fairly certain. As, and what is going on with her Arizona charges? Well, we do know that she is going to formally face charges for both uh, Charles Vallow and Brandon Boudreaux. So there is another, even if for some reason the appeal goes good, which I'm sure they're going to appeal. They're going to appeal on the basis that she was convicted because of the Arizona evidence. Uh, I see that coming. Uh, even if that appeal were to her, you know, go her way and she were to be turned out, she's only going to be granted a new trial, and she still has her Arizona charges to face. So she's going to spend the rest of her life in prison, and it's possibility Arizona could throw the death penalty in there. We'll see how that goes and how that will play out. But she's never going to walk a free woman again. She's never again going to be caught in Chad's storm, which serves her dime store, Pippi Longstocking ass right. 
Um, what's going down with Chad? We still don't have a trial date for him. I suspect it's going to be mid-2024 or mid-2025 before we see that trial if he does not cop a plea deal. I suspect he may be discussing that with his attorneys uh, because he sees what happened to Lori, that it did not go well for her. So that is where we stand with all your Valo news. Uh, I will continue to follow this case, of course, because like you, I am obsessed with it. I do have uh, three new videos that are in the can. They will be coming out very, very soon. Uh, Monday, I have a, a conversation with the Martinez's from California. They are um, directors for the organization Gays Against Groomers. This will be a highly political episode. It will drop on Monday, so just fair trigger warning there. Politics is not your thing. And then after that, two totally non-political, non-bloody episodes will be coming out of secession. I have a discussion on the disappearance of the Malaysian flight with, uh, with Max Zed and a discussion of Star Wars and Scream with Force of Light Entertainment that will be coming out after that, and then I'll be back to my Third Reich videos. And so with that, I really thank you for hanging in there. And for those of you in the United States, have a very happy Memorial Day weekend. And for those of you in Canada, I missed out on wishing you a happy Victoria Day. So there you go. And for any holidays that you're celebrating around the world, uh, happy holiday. And with that being said, I'll be back soon. And until next time, keto and cry.